Hi guys, so I'm back with an excited video. Um, if you've already seen the video introducing the new jewels, um, at this moment of time when I'm making this video, I have not got names for them and they did not come with names. Um, just like to put this out there. Um, I'm not replacing Snow in any way. I know he did pass away on the 7th, so not that long ago. Um, but I did say on my thank you for all the support video that I will be getting more furries and i just seen on facebook that this lady was getting rid of two gerbils um she was moving and she couldn't take them with her she doesn't mind who had them they were free and i didn't want them going to people to have snakes and that you know this is one of them things so i took them in and the lady was nice enough and delivered them and everything to me and burl and everything and then when i got them in i had um, give them a health check. They're really tame, mind. They say play. They're quite tame. So they come with this mini doona, which I'm not happy about because obviously gerbils shouldn't be living in a hamster cage. Um, they come with a bag of wood shavings. I don't know what this wood shavings is like, but I'll have a look into that. And they come with a food, and this is the Tesco one, gerbil and hamster food. So I will be bringing them onto the food that I've got ready for them, and I will wean them onto that um the lady was nice enough to give them to me but as you can t tell they she said you know she didn't have time or nothing for them when i had them there was nothing for them to chew on and it's quite upsetting because everyone knows how much a gerbil chews you can see the two of them there i just put a toilet roll tube in there literally before i start this video and they they demolishing it i know gerbils do like chew but i put it in there because there was not one toy in there um, it comes with this, uh, no, the mini doona cage. I will keep this, um, just in case they, oh, just in case they fight or, um, you know, like, just for spare. Um, although I got quite a few spare ones. Um, they haven't, they haven't even, I don't know if they cleaned them just before they gave them to me, but they didn't secure it. But I can't complain because they were free, but you can tell they weren't looked after. I'm not slagging the person off or whatever. But I feel that they haven't been locked after. Um, so they, you know, they've got a big gap here. They she didn't check as gerbils. All they gotta do is just get their teeth under that, and they've gone. Like, um, they're really tame. I picked them both up, and I've given them health checks, and they're both boys. And yeah, and I've given them a bit of mealworms, which is just there, just to see if they like them, just to see if they settle in, and they're good for like a taming treat. Um. And the first thing I see is obviously the food bowl. I think that's the only good thing that's with the cage. Um, ew. Um, it comes with like a ceramic bowl, um, which has got the food in. What's that? Oh my gosh. Look what I just found in there. That is a piece of metal. That is metal. Isn't that metal? Oh my gosh. I'm just so glad I've had them now because, you know, it was kind of spare the moment thing. Literally within the half an hour, they said, can I bring them up? And I was like, well, yeah, sure. And I haven't even got the cage and I set it up. And that's why I've done this. And I also set up a carrier just to pop them in, just in case they didn't come with a cage. Anyway, they come with a food. The food's pretty basic. Um, they haven't got no extras in there, I don't think. Um, what's that now? No, that's okay. Um, but look, it's come with metal, and I've put the metal there. All this stuff is here, because I've like, literally had to grab everything out. And I have disinfected all the snow's cage, and I will be adding it eventually. Oh, there we go, look. This shows how much they needed chewing. I put that in for the video, so say five minutes ago. And look. Hello. Um, I haven't thought of names yet. Mind you, when the, this video is up, I'm not sure when it'll be up. Hopefully the same day. Um, they will have. They want. They haven't got names. So if you've got any suggestions, leave them in the down bar. And if I do choose your name, I'll give you a shout out and everything. He is as gorgeous. I love the colourings. Hey. I still got a lot to learn about gerbils, but I know the basics, and I've done quite a bit of research now. Now, and I see after seeing everyone got gerbils, I really wanted gerbils. But anyway, um, they haven't got a ladder there. If they can get up and down that, fine. But I don't know why I'm going there. And then you come across this. What is it? It's plastic in a duplicate. Look. I haven't touched this yet. So I don't know what 
shape or form is in. Right, that jewel. Oh my gosh. This is so harmful to them. Sorry, babies. Let me just get this out. The wheel. Can jewels have wheels? I think they can, can't they? Um, the wheel is, the, I think it's a water stack, if I'm correct. If I'm wrong, sorry, I do not know, because I used to have one of these years and years ago. Um, they sleep in that, because they haven't got a bed. Hi! Um, they go inside, <laughs> they go inside that, and they're going to arch their backs. I don't get how that's work. That's going to work. Um, but I'll still keep it from just like for homely smells and that, just for the time being. Oh, they're looking around now. You can't find your home, can you? And then it comes with this connector. Is it? Oh, and they've chewed it all, which is natural for a gerbil. Hi! Hey, baby! Um, I'm going to shut this just because I'm going to try and focus on this a sec. Um, what's the, what is it? A connector? Oh, my God, and there's sellotape on there. <gasps> there's sellotape on it. What the hell? Once again, I'm still going to keep these just for, so they got something. Um, I know people do put plastic in their cage, but obviously this is kept in all the time because they've constantly chewed it. They, this is clean, so that's a good thing, is it? That's the only thing that was in there, but like I said, I'll keep that and just chew at the end. I'll keep the two for connecting the levels. Um, and that's what my surprise was in my haul when I said I didn't, want to, I didn't want to tell you guys when I bought the big huge container was that I was getting gerbils. I just put this in as well and they've kind of chewed this a bit. Oh, what you got? <laughs> they only got enough bed in there to burrow on. I don't get it. So the lady said that the kids had lost interest as well. Um, so, hi. I can't wait to get them settled in. Hey. Um, but yeah, that's what they come with. Um, like I said, if you're having, what bottle is that? What's that? What is it? Is it a bottle? Well, it must be a bottle. Good. Oh, bash it like. Hmm, never seen these type ones before. I love the markings. This one's kind of like a, a dusty colour. It's a nice grey one, yeah. They both boys. Um, let's see if we can let them pick us up. I don't want to frighten them too much because they're probably still settling. <laughs> you like that, dear? Oh, baby, what are you doing to your bro? So yeah, I've had my little rant about the cage. Um, I'm just going to pop this back in so it doesn't freak them out. This is what you heard. Oh, I've put it in the wrong way. Oh, well. Um, I won't be putting that wheel back in. I'll be putting a flying saucer in just for... <laughs> just for now and then. Um... Once I got it all set up, I will do my handmade gerbilarium because I am making one. And I am doing a video on how I made it. Although, I actually don't need to do that because um, I've already made the levels which are in one of my videos of the hamster levels. But I will do a describe it in my gerbilarium when I've done it. But yeah, this is what we come in. This is the bedding. And yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching and yeah. Bye guys.